hello friends welcome to my tutorials of hybrid automation technologies uh, today i'm going to show you how to simulate the rs logix 500 and uh, uh, rs view 32 works uh, starter software okay you can use it without plc also and uh, with plc also okay uh, first of all i will show you how to connect the pc sorry plc to the pc okay for that purpose we have to create a driver here okay if you are using a connect uh, connecting a direct PLC to the uh, HMI software, uh, you have to select the proper cable which cable you are using. Uh, uh, suppose you are using uh, RS232 ODF1 devices, click add on, add new, and click OK. If you have connected your PLC to the uh, CPU, uh, you have to just click auto configure, it will co uh, configure it automatically, and uh, your driver will be added. Okay, now for simulation purpose, you have to use the SLC 500 DH485 emulator driver here and click add new. Okay, okay, uh, put it 00, zero only. Click for close. Now the workstation only is presented. Okay, this is a RS view works. works uh, 32 and uh, RS links RS logics we have to use and RS links we have to create a driver and for simulation purpose we need RS logic simulate 500 okay now first we'll uh, already we have created this driver here okay now we have to create a program for the same Okay, any PLC you can use. Uh, I will select a MicroLogix 1000 PLC. Okay, first I will uh, take some runs. Okay, this is the actual uh, input address but one thing you have to remember that we cannot we cannot uh, control the hardware address through the SCADA software that purpose uh, instead of uh, this uh, stopping stop it we are uh, I'm using on uh, uh, binary bit here okay so V3 colon 0 by 0 is our starting uh, button and uh, this is stop button and uh, this is our actual output ok verify file verify project and save this Okay, after saving you have to open the file through this uh, emulator this is the file and place the station station number decimal number that is one and minimize this one okay now everything is set to work now what you have to do click okay select new one Okay, first we have to uh, 
change the system settings in channel okay uh, if you are using the actual plc you have to select select the particular uh, cable which you are using okay next uh, here i'm using a dh485 simulator simulator driver and select the driver which we have created and click ok and we have to select the node also ok demo station ok after opening the file in uh, emulator one virtual plc will be created ok that same plc we have to select this in uh, SCADA in node select ok and click accept and close this ok system settings are done now in graphics select the display you can change the display settings also and in library <coughs> First, we have to take the start and stop buttons here. Raised button, I will take. And uh, momentary on. When we press, it is 1. When we release, it is 0. Okay. Tags we have to create. New tag. Start. Type is digital. And we are using device. This is the driver which we have created and b3 colon 0 by 0 is our start bit ok and click ok and select the start and click ok here and um, when it is up appearance uh, we have to see the start uh, title here and green it should show Okay, like this it will work. Okay, similarly for stop button also. New tag. Digital. B3 colon 0 by 1. Okay, in library, we have to take one pump. Okay, I will take this pump. Okay, one thing you can see here when we put it in test run mode, it starts rotating, but it should start rotating when we trigger the input and output is on. Okay, for that purpose, I will un uh, copy this and paste it. First, we will resize it copy paste and ungroup this thing ok now you can check to which part animation is applied ok to the blade part rotation is there delete the animation and close this now again group it and place it on the pump again ok now you can check here stop start ok now we have to place this program in run mode click to active go online ok select this node and click ok and place this in run mode Okay, now the program is in running mode. Now we can check the SCADA software here. Okay, now happening. Okay, what we have to do? We have to provide animation, visibility animation. It should be invisible when
o colon 0 by 0 output is on okay when output is on it should be invisible okay check this movement rate and click ok it should be invisible apply and close now then place it on the pump now start run, start the simulation you can see the same thing is happening here when we trigger this b3 colon 0 by 1 through this uh, stop button the pump will stop rotating means the above image is dis disappeared invisible and uh, below rotation part is uh, seen okay now if you want to put some numerical input and numerical displays what we have to do is uh, in program I will make some changes I'll go to offline okay when after particular time delay the pump should be turned off okay what I'll do I'll take the bit, same bit and I will take one uh, T on okay okay here we have to pro, uh, provide the preset value or time delay value through the SCADA. For that purpose, I will take one move bit, move logic, okay, and I will provide the input to the n7 colon 0 and the data stored in n7 colon 0 should be moved in timer preset value. That is T4 colon 0 forward slash TRE. Okay, in preset value, the N7 colon 0 data will be moved. Okay, uh, again we have to check the timing counting value, timer value. Okay, that purpose also what we have to do. Uh, first, we will take another run. Again, we will take one move block here. N7 colon sorry T4 colon 0 ACC okay it's accumulator value we are we have to show in SCADA and uh, accumulator value will be stored in N7 colon 1 okay verify file verify project save now in emulator also we have to open the file once again demo place the station number same as previous we have provided ok now put this in run mode ok done now we have to make some changes in uh, this also start also numerical display ok tags new tag that is accumulate value and we have to select analog here and device n7 colon 1 is 1 is accumulate value and I will click ok this is an uh, numerical display and we have to provide a numerical input also preset value analog device n7 colon 0 ok ok uh, this done center okay. ok it will not start is in run mode Okay, uh, we have to place the done bit, stop it here also because after particular time delay it should stop. So go to offline, <coughs> uh, 
p4 colon 0 power slash done bit okay this is the output bit of our timer here again verify file verify project save and alt open okay open this file once again place the uh, same station number and go back to okay done now it is in run mode okay now you can check here it will not start because here you can see because uh, preset and accumulator really both are same when we trigger the input here for some okay it will keep on toggling but it will not start continuously stop okay like this uh, here i will put 10 second time delay and press enter 10 is entered in uh, this timer reset value I will check when I press start button ok this count value from this accumulate value 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 after particular time delay this done bit is high that will break this uh, circuit ok again I will change this time delay to 5 seconds here you can check 5 is entered ok start button after 5 seconds it is stop ok this is the thing uh, ok friends thank you for watching uh, my video and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please write in comments and uh, you can private message me to vilaspatil.triple at gmail.com also and if you have any doubts please ask me okay and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you for watching